Hi, good day. Hope all of you are well. If you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please subscribe and support me. Don't forget to enable the bell button too. Today we are talking about Saturn. Saturn has been known since prehistoric times. Saturn was believed to be the most distant planet of the five planets known to the ancients at that time. In early recorded history, it was a major character in various mythologies. Babylonian astronomers observed and recorded the movements of Saturn. In ancient Greek, the planet was known as Phaeonon, and in Roman times, it was known as the Star of Saturn. In ancient Roman mythology, the planet Phaeonon was sacred to this agriculture god, from which the planet takes its modern name. Saturn in Hindu mythology is known as Shani and judges everyone based on the good and bad deeds performed in life. In 1610, the Italian astronomer Galileo Galilei was the first to gaze at Saturn through a telescope. In 1659, Dutch astronomer Christian Huygens, using a more powerful telescope than Galileo's, proposed that Saturn was surrounded by a thin flat ring. Yes, when Saturn comes to our mind, the first thing will be its magnificent rings. Saturn's ring system is the most extensive and complex in the solar system, which extends for hundreds of thousands of kilometers from the planet. In the early 1980s, NASA's two Voyager spacecraft revealed that Saturn's rings are made mostly of water ice. They also found braided rings ringlets and spokes, dark features in the rings that circle the planet at different rates from that of the surrounding ring material. Material in the rings ranges in size from a few micrometers to several tens of meters and the size and structure of the rings are partly a product of the gravitational influence of several of Saturn's moons known as Shepherd Moon. Two of Saturn's small moons, Pandora and Prometheus, orbit within gaps in the main rings, and the rings are divided into seven sections. There are two main hypotheses regarding the origin of these rings. The first hypothesis is that the rings are remnants of a destroyed moon of Saturn. The second hypothesis is that the rings are left over from the original nebular material from which Saturn was formed. Saturn, the sixth planet from the Sun, the second largest in the solar system, is a gas giant. It's hard to imagine, but Saturn is the only planet in the solar system whose average density is less than water. The gas giant planet could float in a bathtub if such a colossal thing existed. With an average radius about nine times that of Earth, but only has one-eighth the average density of Earth. However, with its larger volume, Saturn is over 95 times more massive than Earth. Its volume is 755 times greater than that of Earth with a radius of 58,232 kilometers. Saturn is nine times wider than Earth. From an average distance of 1.4 billion kilometers, Saturn is 9.5 astronomical units away from the Sun. From this distance, it takes sunlight 80 minutes to travel from the Sun to Saturn. Saturn has the second shortest day in the solar system. A Saturnarian day takes about 10.7 hours and a Saturnarian year is about 10,756 Earth days. With its axis to the 26.73 degrees, it experiences seasons. 
Like Jupiter, Saturn is mostly made up of hydrogen and helium. It lacks a true surface, though it may have a solid core. Saturn's interior is mostly like composed of a core of iron, nickel and rock. Its core is surrounded by a deep layer of metallic hydrogen, an intermediate layer of liquid hydrogen and liquid helium, and finally a gaseous outer layer. Winds in the upper atmosphere in the equatorial region of Saturn can reach up to 500 meters per second. The strongest hurricane force winds on Earth is only 110 meters per second. So you can imagine how wild winds are there on Saturn. These super force winds combined with heat rising from within the planet's interior causes the yellow and gold band that is visible in its atmosphere. Saturn has a pale yellow hue due to ammonia crystals in its upper atmosphere. The outer atmosphere is generally bland and lacking in contrast. Although long-lived features can appear, images were taken off the North Pole of Saturn during Voyager 2's encounter to reveal a hexagonal shaped weather feature circulating around the pole. An electric current within the metallic hydrogen layer is thought to give rise to Saturn's planetary magnetic field. Saturn's magnetic field strength is around 1 20th of Jupiter's. Though Saturn's magnetic field is not as huge as Jupiter's, it is still 578 times as powerful as Earth. Saturn, the rings, and many of the satellites lie totally within Saturn's enormous magnetosphere the region of space in which the behavior of electrically charged particles is influenced more by Saturn's magnetic field than by the solar wind. The Hubble Space Telescope's images show that Saturn's polar regions have aurora, similar to Earth. Saturn has 52 satellites or moons and is probably many more waiting to be discovered. Saturn's largest moon, Titan, is a bit bigger than the planet Mercury. Titan is shrouded in a thick, nitrogen-rich atmosphere that might be similar to what Earth was like long ago. Further study of this moon promises to reveal much about planetary formation and perhaps about the early days of Earth. Saturn also has many other small icy satellites from Enceladus, which shows evidence of recent and ongoing surface changes, to Lapetus, with one hemisphere darker than asphalt, and the other as bright as snow. Each of Saturn's satellites is unique. Many of the other moons are small, 34 or less than 10 kilometers in diameter, and another 14 between 10 and 50 kilometers in diameter. In April 2014, NASA scientists reported the possible beginning of a new moon within the A ring, which was imaged by Cassini on 15th April 2013. In March 2007, it was found that the variation of radio emissions from the planet did not match Saturn's rotation rate. This variance may be caused by geyser activity on Saturn's moon, Enceladus. The water vapor emitted into Saturn's orbit by this activity becomes charged and creates a drag upon Saturn's magnetic field, slowing its rotation slightly relative to the rotation of the planet. Please listen the sound which Cassini recorded.
these missions to study in depth of Saturn. They are all with their launch dates and were all launched by NASA. Pioneer 11, 6th April 1973 Voyager 1, 5th September 1977 Voyager 2, 20th August 1977 The Cassini spacecraft was also launched by NASA on 15th October 1997 and fulfilled its mission on 15th September 2017 when as per planned went into Saturn's upper atmosphere and it burned up in order to prevent any risk of contaminating Saturn's moon. Cassini also carried an atmospheric entry probe named Huygens, built by European Space Agency and Italian Space Agency. It was separated from the Cassini orbiter on December 25, 2004 and landed successfully on Saturn's moon Titan. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video. I'll come up with another video. Till then, stay tuned to my channel. Till then, bye bye. Shoney.